Hi guys, it's Big Al. Welcome back to Big Al Sports World. And this is our non-league, the Premier League series with Kirsten Ashton. And today we're in the Vanderlamma National League North against Kidderminster Harriets, who are now third in the table. And as you can see, we dropped all the way down to seventh. Yes, all the way down to seventh. We have not been on the best form at all since you guys were last with us. Against low stuff, where's low stuff? There is low stuff. So as you can see, you're with us for this. Was it this game for us, low stuff? It was this game of low stuff, wasn't it? Or was it? Yes, it was this game against low stuff. No, it wasn't. It was this game against low stuff. So really, since the injuries against low stuff, we have not been playing very, very well. So as you know, we beat low stuff two 0 with you guys. With Will Miller and Kenny getting a 90 minute winner. Then we drew two each with Salford. Which is not great. <sighs> then we beat Spenny Moore 1 0. Then we drew one each with um, Non Eaton. We beat Hitchin 4 1. We beat Newport County of the Vamarama National League 4 1. Which then afterwards we lost 2 1 to Gainsborough. And then we beat Bradford PA 2 0 with down the 10 men. Then we lost 1-0 to Boston, then we beat Dartford with our reserve squad because I'm trying to get knocked out of the trophy because since since the injuries um, in the first round of the trophy we have not been playing very very well. Prior to that trophy we were on a 10 game on beating run. Now don't get me wrong we had what 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, we had a 9 game on beating run between the Alfredton game. but. We lost Slotton and David off, and since then the team haven't performed, and they seem to be more focused, even more on this FA Trophy than what they are on promotion. And I don't want that. I want promotion, not the FA Trophy. Couldn't give a toss about the FA Trophy. Neither look at the board. We already met their expectations of third round, run the four in the quarter final, basically, and I don't want it. But we've lo we then went down and lost three two to Chorley, and they were down to ten men, which was even more embarrassing than anything else. And then we lost with a 91st minute winner for against Chester in our last game. So that puts us up against Kidderminster today. And as you know, they are above us in the league, as are Chester and everything else. We're leaving Boston United above us now. Look at that. Top of the league. So we need, need to win every game toward to the end of the season. Really, ideally, to confirm that we are going to be in the playoff spot. Or at least re-challenge for the title. We were only six points behind the league leaders only a few games ago. But with three defeats and five. Has seen us drop dramatically down the table. So, you want to know what's happening in the team then. So the team to play against Kidderminster Harris today is Rosario in goals. A backline of a do. Perch, Chalk and Bardsley. Midfield lineup of Kinsella, D Almeida, Kenny and Chambers with Pike and Nazon up front. On the bench we got Leggett, Booker, Grant, Yaboa and Greenwich. Now we have changed now to an attacking formation because we need to start picking up points. And we seem to play better since we go to attacking anyway. We've now put instructions on, which we haven't done all season. We're now pumping the ball in the box because Nazon's a target man and he's got pace as well. And in the last couple of games, he's came off the bench with pump, changed the formation, changed the instructions to this whenever he's come on. He's been destroying defenders. He just can't, we just can't finish goals at the minute. So we're pumping the ball into the box. We're looking for the overlaps from Bardsley and Adu. We're closing down now and we're playing with a faster tempo. Basically trying to narrow down this pitch, make it harder for the opposition to play football. And hopefully Pike and Nazon can start getting on the score sheet and Chambers again. So fingers crossed. But this is what we're going to do anyway. And hopefully we can give ourselves three points and start chasing down this uh, promotion option. All that's we're going to end up outside promotion. we got a team that's capable of playing in the National League. But at the minute we're not even capable of winning in this division. Look at our ratings, they were all in high sevens. The average ratings are dropping dramatically. So, I, we had a team meeting before this game as well. Told them we were looking a bit of a boost and no more, a bit of a morale boost. 
everyone got the lead it everyone was back behind us i'm just hoping we can take it into this game and show kidderminster up like we did the last time we played kidderminster which we gave them a 5-0 drubbing so ideally that's what i would like to happen again but they're in better form than us unfortunately at the minute and with him running straight past my left back with ease is not ideal and we're nearly 1-0 down in the first 25 seconds not ideal I guess in the team talk prior, the whole team talk didn't work. Well, that was shocking defending by Bardsley at the right back. But we need to pick up points badly. And Almeida now is back to perch. Will he just pump it? Yes, he will. And Pike gets in behind. Can Raquel Pike finish it? He's put it over the bar. This is what I mean. Earlier on the season, he was banging him in the back of the net from that absolutely banging them in and now he's putting everything over the bar he has scored 30 goals in 30 games for us this season so you know I can't complain but oh, we need at least 40 from him either that or Nizar needs to start banging goals in and some other players need to start banging goals in so for their 2-0 up already so and Pike and Kenny are both on for the record. Pike ha Kenny has 11 assists for the Vanarama National League North. And Pike has 12. And the record's 15. So both of them are on to set the new Vanarama League National Record. No, Vanarama National League North record for assists. If they can do it. But at the minute we are struggling to score goals. So the assists are not coming. Oh, I'm tempted to put, get stuck in on. Oh, I guess attacking is probably not the best way to go in this game, but I need points. And it's the only thing I can think of is to go attacking. And Harrods are coming at us again. Oh my god, he's unmarked inside the box, man. Come on, centre backs. Oh. Kinsella. Oh, it's an OG! What a goal by Warsaw! <laughs> Or sorry, was he even? Hey, Ivan was he? What a header! Come play for me with goals like that, kid! What a goal! Unbelievable thumping header past his own keeper. I'll take that all day long. Oh, what a back heel by Chalk. Perch with the header right. But Kidderminster picking up the loose second balls, and this is a problem for us. Rosario with a big save. We haven't been winning second balls. In any game for since since we stopped that 10 11 game on beaten run we did go nine games on beaten again but then we lost three out of five so you know 19 games on beaten is not bad for a season but we need to do more than that oh chambers what was that easy for purge don't do it oh I do I made a Kinsella, beautiful ball in for Pike, can he square it? He's got to go himself, and Raquel Pike is back on the goal scoring sheet. He gets the goal, and a lovely assist for Stephen Kinsella. Oh, Rosario with a thumping ball to Adu, who finds Amida, finds Kinsella, and a lovely split and pass by Kinsella, and Raquel Pike shows his quality. And can you believe the club he left are currently second in the championship on their way back to the Premier League? But he came to us instead. Because he wasn't getting football there. Oh, and why is he trying to score? Oh, what a challenge by Chalk. Chris Chalk, the fifth, well, 16-year-old now. Beautiful pump and ball. And there's Nazun. Will he cross it? Oh, he's offside. But much better by the Nash. Pressure. Kinsella picks it up. Thump and ball forward, Chambers is going to get there, will he get the cross, he does, Pike, oh he put it wide from like two yards, that should have been number three, should have been number three, is Kinsella going to shoot, nope, he looks short to Almeida, just let it in, everyone's offside, Almeida's trying to hold it up, everyone's offside, Almeida finds Kenny, what's he going to do with it, he finds Kinsella, oh Kinsella look left kid, oh, a do with a thump and ball forward. I made a Kinsella. Oh, poor pass again by Kinsella. Twice in a row. And there's that ball that we were looking at. And Ironside puts it a million miles wide. 
Oh, two poor passes from Kinsella in a row nearly cost us a goal. Two minutes to half time, no changes are going to be made. We're playing not so bad, but we're going to concede right before half time again. We've done that in a few games now, I can see that right before half time, couldn't be able to take it into the half time as a, vi as a lead of zero to whatever we scored. We've been conceding a lot of early goals too, so let the assistant give it over. Everyone's looking calm and motivated, that's what we like to see. No changes at half time. I do have another try and pump the ball forward which is what the instructions are set for. We were playing our defence for the last few games. It worked, but then we made stupid mistakes and conceded goals from it. Like, Booker made a quite a few stupid mistakes. Hence why he's not in, and his rating was a 5.1. So he hasn't played since. Kinsella, Pike, Nazon. Come on, Nazon. Beautiful ball. No one there, though, but easy for Turley. I think it was more of a shot and a cross, to be fair with you. I would have preferred him to try and cross it for Pike, but, you know, Chalk was easily beat, and good chips in, and he pumps it well over the bar and wide. We need a third to finish this game off, I think. We do need a third goal. We have scored 71 goals this season, but conceded 39. Oh, Gokic's gone. He's gone to New York um, Cosmos. His transfer is completed now. As Chambers is now injured, so after this highlight, or maybe not after this highlight, I think we'll just take him off. Oh, Nazun's injured as well. Jesus Christ. Well, that just means a double change early on in the second half, which is not good. Both with ankle injuries. We're getting a lot of ankle and foot injuries from our uh, attacking force. Pike. Oof. And that's the reason why. Challenges like this that actually injure our players. Oh, he's played the mistake, and that's when he hit the post. How do you hit the post from there? Kenny Chimpers, oh, great save. Oh, I said we needed the third goal. And yeah, we seem to be getting a lot of injuries in, in the ankles and broken foots and broken ankles and bruised ankles and that from our better players of this club, from all our teams. I think they're going in hot, very hard on our on our better players. Which is not helping us at all. As Rosario with a big thump and cool kick. Your boy is trying to challenge for it. Chris Chalks intercepts. And there's Greenwich. Will he square it? He does square it. Oh, too far away. Kenny. Kinsella. Greenwich. Oh, super sub. Jordan Greenwich. And it's 3 0 Nash. In off the post. I do not care how it was in the back of the opposition net. Greenwich. Put the ball across, it was too far behind Pike, the clearance wasn't great, Kenny wins it back, Kinsella with a beautiful curling ball, and Greenies with the header to put us 3-0 up, and it's exactly what we needed. We need to start winning games, and this is exactly what we needed to do, start beating teams above us. We lost to Chester, we lost to Boston, we lost to Stock well, we drew with Stockport, we need to start beating these teams. Wazzy with the free kick. Can we get the ball back? Delightful effort. The keeper didn't even go for it. Rosario, I'm highly disappointed. He normally goes for those. So Chalk with the goal, with a free kick, pump and ball. Greenies is away. First time cross. Pike. Oh, he's hit the crossbar again. He's rattling that woodwork. And oh, talk about disrespect for the woodwork. He's hit the woodwork like two or three times this game now, and it's just not good enough. He was buried a little. That's why he's like got like 50 goals now for this club. 30 this season is in all competitions is amazing for any striker. Hence why I signed him in permanently. Whenever I seen he was requested to leave his parent club. While he was on loan and his offer was nice and cheap. What a ball, Kenny! Oh, pick it out, Kenny! You ball the Kenny! And number 10 for Kenny of the season. This is what we're talking about. We beat Kidderminster 5 0 the last time. We're f at home. We're 4 0 up at their ground. And your boy, beautiful cross. And what a volley by Kenny. Keeper had no chance. We beat them 5 at our ground. We're 4 0 up. Can we commit, commit 
complete the 10 nil victory over two legs basically against Kira Mr. Harriet's it would be amazing if we could get 10 goals in two games against them that would just be epic oh Greenies with the winning header that's why he's a target man and that's a great ball by Chris Chalk all the way back to Rosario pumping ball forward again no one up oh Greenies does he's back to Kenny he plays in Pike Pike oh he's put it wide oh it should have been five it should have been five we should have won this about six or seven by now to be fair with the chances we've hit the crossbar and the post with Rosario Greenage oh he bit his man but the cover was too good up and win no we cannot and here they come Yaboa gets back there great play by Yaboa Kenny picks it up He's fine Pike, can Pike find Greenwich? No, back to Kenny though. Greenwich is there, finds Pike. Will he find Kinsella? Yes he can, Kinsella go for back post, Kenny! It's five, Kenny gets his second, Kinsella second assist of the game. And then Nash has scored ten goals in two games against Kenny Mr. Harriers. Can we play them every week? I wish we could. Oh my word, we have absolutely annihilated them for the second time this season. Home and away victories of five nil each so far. And um, as I said, it could be easily seven or eight in this game. Kinsella with a cross, Perch, Almeida, and six nil. Oh, what a goal by Almeida! <laughs> two goals in two minutes, and the Nash has scored eleven goals past Kidderminster now in two games. Home and away, away's been more prolific. Oh, what a volley by Ceci Almeida! And it's Kidderminster nil, the Nash six. And that's poor for Kitty Mr. Harriet, who are above us in the table. This is what I mean. We have the team that's strong enough to play at a higher level. We beat teams for seventh, like Newport County, with this team. We beat them with ease in the cup, and they played their first team. And Pike's in again. Raquel Pike all over the bar. She could have been seven. But oh, delightful, delightful, delightful win this is going to turn out to be. Kidderminster nil, the Nash 6. And this is a kind of video I like to bring you guys. Look at that, 9.5, 9.1, 9.3, 9.2, 9.0, 9.1 for my two centre-backs. This is a delightful, delightful victory. And it's exactly what we needed for a team that's been underperforming for the last three, four, or five games. It's nice to get back to winning ways. Can Kenny lay it off? Almeida, no, there it is. Second half domination by the Nash. Cursed the Nash in six. Kidderminster Harriets nil and um, they stay third we go up to fifth we now scored 75 goals and 11 of those 75 goals have come against Kidderminster Harriet home and away and this is much 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 better now if we can continue this for a few more games we might see ourselves challenging for second place because I'm expecting the teams around us to start dropping points and get a pro run I think our pro run has been Every time start of the season or last of the season, this season was the start of the season and then the start of the second half of the season. Now we need to pick up from here and move on. So guys, thank you very much for coming and joining us. If you've enjoyed this one, hit your thumbs up like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel and of course as always leave any comments you wish. It's been a pleasure as always. Have a good one. Bye.